everybody, it's Coach Contento, your certified Seymour Putter Institute instructor and fitter here at the Litchfield Country Club in beautiful Pauley's Island, South Carolina. Today I'd like to talk to you about the importance of being fitted for a putter. Why is a putter being so important? It's half of your strokes. If you look at a par 72, 36 of your strokes are allotted for making a putt. So it's extremely important that you find one that fits you. First thing that we would look at is the length of the putter. If the putter is too short and your eyes actually hang out beyond the golf ball, many times if you watch your putt as it goes back and it looks like it's sort of going away from you if you watch it, there's a good chance that your putter might be too short. If the putter is too long and it's way out here, most of the time people just tend to swing a little too flat and get very handsy. You have to be in the proper biomechanical position in order to make a good stroke. How do you do that? First, your back must be flat. So as you bend forward from the hips, your back must remain flat. It doesn't matter how far you bend forward as long as your back is flat. Your shoulders should not be rounded and forward. They should feel like they're down and back. When I do it properly, then my shoulders rock. Versus if I'm standing this way, as you can see, my back doesn't move at all. I like for the eyes to be set up so that they are just over the heel of the putter. That way you are putting along a perfect elliptical arc. Also, the way that the putter is set angle. If the toe of the putter sets and it is too far where the toe is up, a lot of times the putter will swing around and the ball will tend to go left on your putt. Conversely, if it is so the toe is down, you will feel very unsolid and the ball will tend to go to the right. Each one of these actually forces you to make a compensation in your stroke. So make sure that you are fitted for a putter that lays fairly flat. Again, eyes over the heel of the putter, the putter laying flat. Ball position should be only centimeters forward of center. The shaft should look like it's perfectly vertical. Now, if you do not have a Seymour putter, you're going to have to practice very hard in order to get into these perfect positions. What I do like about the Seymour putters is they have what we call rifle scope technology. I'll bring it forward to show you. As you set up with the Seymour putter, you will see that there are two white lines and a red dot. If I set up over the putt perfectly, the two white lines are showing and the red dot is hidden. If the putter face is rotated open slightly or closed slightly, part of the white lines will be obliterated and you will see the red dot. Conversely, if the ball's too far forward in your stance or too far back in your stance, the lines will be covered up by this black part of the shaft. So it's sort of like a training tool that you can use while playing. Fantastic, fantastic. What I like to tell people is once you get fitted with a Seymour putter, you make a few practice strokes, looking at the two white lines as they go back and they go through. If you don't see any of the red dot, then you're making no compensations in your stroke and you're on a perfect arc.